Did you know that the global foreign exchange market, also known as Forex, trades a staggering $6.6 .6 trillion every single day? That's more money than the combined GDP of all but the top 10 economies in the world. Every single day, a mind-boggling $7.5 trillion flows through the foreign exchange market, or Forex. That's more money than the combined GDP of the top 10 countries in the world. Think about it. The price of your clothes, your gas, even that morning coffee, all impacted by Forex, even though it operates behind the scenes. But wait, before you get intimidated, this video is your fast-track guide to understanding Forex. Ditch the confusing jargon and forget overwhelming charts. We'll break it down in simple terms, show you how currencies interact, and guide you through the basics of Forex trading. Forex, short for foreign exchange, is like a giant, global money market. Instead of selling apples or clothes, this market trades currencies, the money different countries use. It's the biggest financial market in the world, with over $6 trillion traded every day. That's more than all the stocks in the world combined. Unlike the stock market, Forex never sleeps. It's open 24-5. From Monday morning in Asia to Friday afternoon in New York. But there's no fancy building for this market. It's everywhere. Banks, brokers, companies, and even governments trade currencies with each other over computers. Now, let's dive into the important things you need to know about this exciting market. Currency Codes Every currency is identified by a three-letter code known as an ISO code. Here are some frequently traded currencies. USD represents the US dollar, commonly referred to as the dollar. AUD stands for the Australian dollar, also known as the Aussie. NZD denotes the New Zealand dollar, also referred to as the Kiwi. EUR signifies the Euro. CAD stands for the Canadian dollar, also known as the CAD. GBP represents the British pound, commonly referred to as the pound. JPY is the Japanese yen, also known as the yen. CHF is the code for the Swiss franc, also known as the Swiss. Currency pair in Forex. In the realm of Forex, a currency pair denotes the quoted exchange rate between two distinct currencies available for trading. Forex trading involves swapping one currency for another. Take the euro dollar currency pair, for example. In any currency pair, the first currency is the base currency and the second is the quote currency. If the euro dollar pair is quoted as 1.1840, it means you can obtain 1.1840 US dollars for every euro. It's important to note that the base currency consistently represents one unit in these pairings. When you engage in trading currency pairs, buying a pair, like pound dollar, signifies your expectation of the pound's value increasing and the dollar's value decreasing. Conversely, selling a pair like pound dollar indicates your anticipation of the pound's value decreasing and the dollar's value increasing. Stick to major currency pairs that include the US dollar as they are highly liquid. This makes trading easy and quick, with tighter bid-ask spreads, especially recommended for beginners. PIP in Forex in the realm of Forex, changes in exchange rates are measured in PIPs, an abbreviation for Percentage Endpoint, or Price Interest Point. A PIP serves as the standardized unit for the smallest price move in an exchange rate. For most currencies, expressed to the fourth decimal place, one PIP denotes a change in the final decimal place. For instance, if the Australian dollar is at 0.6751 and gains one pip, it becomes 0.6752. Exceptions can arise, especially when dealing with yen pairs in the forex market, where the Japanese yen is quoted to two decimal places. In these cases, one pip gain would result in a shift from 146.22 to 146.23. Additionally, there's a pipette, which signifies one-tenth of a pip and is indicated by the fifth decimal place. Feel free to drop your suggestions for video topics in the comments section below. 
Don't forget to hit the like button to show your support for our team and help us create more free YouTube content. In the world of Forex, positions are measured in lot sizes. A standard lot corresponds to 100,000 units of the base currency. A mini lot is 10,000 units and a nano lot is 100 units. Bid, Ask and Spread In the Forex market, transactions involve bid and ask prices. When buying, the ask price for the base currency is paid and when selling, it's done at the bid price. The difference between these prices, known as the spread, includes the dealer's profit and transaction cost. This spread acts as the fee for entering the market, and brokers may offer different spreads, some of which are variable based on market conditions. Brokers and Leverage To access and trade in the Forex market, individual retail traders require a broker. Brokers provide leverage, allowing traders to use borrowed capital for larger positions than their account funds would allow. Leverage can be thought of as a financial lever that amplifies trading power, similar to how a lever magnifies physical strength. While leverage enhances the potential for profit, it also increases the risk of losses. It's crucial to recognize that leverage acts as a double-edged sword. Broker offerings of leverage vary, often expressed in ratios like 1 to 50, 1 to 100, or 1 to 500. Traders usually need to deposit a margin as collateral for the leveraged position. Liquidity Envision an extensive global marketplace where numerous participants engage in trading. Each transaction has a minimal impact comparable to dropping a tiny pebble into the ocean. The vast size of the market allows participants to enter and exit trades swiftly, causing little disturbance to exchange rates. In simple terms, a liquid market is a financial arena with a high volume of trades facilitating easy buying and selling for traders. Market Volatility High volatility indicates rapid and substantial price changes, resembling a turbulent roller coaster ride with sudden drops and steep climbs. These drastic and wide price swings signify increased risk and potential rewards for trades. Conversely, low volatility characterizes a calm market with smaller exchange rate fluctuations. Market Volatility Factors Keep an eye on minor price fluctuations, signifying low volatility and consequently lower risk and potential rewards for your trades. Various factors can impact market volatility, including inflation, market demand, foreign policy announcements, political and economic conditions, economic data releases, central bank decisions, natural disasters, or sudden shifts in interest rates. With these influential factors prompting price swings, speculating on exchange rate fluctuations continues to be a prevalent method for individuals to profit from Forex trading. Traders employ various strategies to make sense of the market, with one common approach being technical analysis. In this method, traders analyze historical price movements and data to identify patterns that may repeat in the future. The idea behind technical analysis is that history often repeats itself. Think of it like a detective hunting down clues to predict future actions based on past behavior. Here are some simple examples of technical analysis in action. 1. Identifying trends. Analyzing past price movements reveals a consistent pattern of higher highs and higher lows, signaling an uptrend. This observation prompts the anticipation that future prices will continue this trend, leading to a focus on long trades to align with the upward movement. 2. Spotting Downtrends Examination of historical price data unveils a pattern of lower highs and lower lows, indicating a clear downtrend. Expecting this trend to persist, the strategy involves actively seeking short trades to align with the downward trajectory. 3. Recognizing Key Areas through a thorough analysis of historical data, it becomes evident that specific price levels consistently trigger drastic reversals, suggesting strong interest from both buyers and sellers. The prediction is that if the price returns to these key areas in the future, there is a heightened probability of a reversal, presenting potential trade opportunities. 4. Following Trend Lines by closely observing historical price movements, a recurrent pattern emerges where the price consistently bounces off a particular trend line. 
The expectation is that this trend will continue, leading to an anticipation that if the price revisits this trend line in the future, it will likely bounce off again, creating viable trading opportunities. Another method used for trading the Forex market is fundamental analysis. This approach delves into broader macroeconomic and geopolitical factors that influence exchange rates and currency values. Picture fundamental analysis as creating a weather forecast, where analysts study various atmospheric conditions to predict future weather events. In Forex, traders scrutinize a country's economic indicators, such as GDP growth, inflation, and unemployment, to assess its economic health. Additionally, they consider factors like interest rates, monetary policy, political events, government policy changes, central bank statements, breaking news, and significant market events. Traders use this information to predict future market fluctuations in exchange rates and currency values, aiming to capitalize on these insights. An economic calendar is a common tool among traders, helping them stay informed about upcoming economic events or announcements that could impact the Forex market. In this video, we've covered the fundamentals of Forex trading. If you're eager to delve into more intricate topics, stay tuned for upcoming videos where we explore more complex aspects of Forex trading. For more valuable financial insights, consider subscribing to WealthMap. Share your thoughts and questions in the comments section and continue your learning journey with us. Thank you for being a part of our community. Until next time, embark on your financial journey with confidence, aiming for growth and enlightenment in building a secure future.